Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. This is the question. The femoral nerve is transected by a rather careless surgeon during a boost femoropopliteal bypass operation. Which of the following action will be impaired? So it is one of the direct question and short question that a femoral nerve is transected. So which will be impaired that means which function will be impaired on the other hand it is the what is the function of the femoral nerve here here the options options are extension of the grid to adduction of the thigh flexion of the knee joint extension of the knee joint and eversion of the foot so we have to find out one of the options which is the function of the femoral nerve and this function will be lost so in the first and second picture here we can see this is the femoral nerve and you can see this femoral nerve after originating from the lumbar flexus it supplies the iliacus and psoas major muscle which lies in the pelvic cavity then below the inguinal ligament it reaches into the thigh and here we can see this is the anterior aspect of the thigh and the femoral nerve it supplies the anterior aspect of the thigh muscle such as here we can see first of all it is cut edge of the sartorius then here this is the rectus femoris then vastus medialis this muscle vastus lateralis here and vastus intermedius is lies beneath the rectus femoris muscle so these muscles are supplied by the femoral nerve and also the iliacus and psoas major muscle which lies into the pelvis and causes of the flexion of the hip joint flexion of the hip joint is supplied also by this femoral nerve and here we can see the femoral nerve going descent down and finally it terminates by giving the saphenous branch of descending genicular artery and nerve and other branches and in the second picture we also can see this is the femoral nerve and here this is the psoas major muscle and here this is the iliacus muscle these two muscles are the seat flexor of the hip joint and it's supplied by this femoral nerve and after crossing the inguinal ligament it supplies the anterior thigh muscles group so the function will be lost here this is flexion flexion of the hip joint will be lost and here extension extension of the knee joint will be lost so here our option uh, here the extension of the knee joint will be lost because here other options such as the extension of the great toe we know that the femoral nerve is usually don't reach into the extensor uh, into the toe so the great toe it is not supplied by the femoral nerve rather it is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve and adduction of the thigh we know that the adductor group of the muscle of the thigh is supplied by the obturator nerve and the flexion of the knee joint it is not also true because flexion of the knee joint it is uh, done by the hamstring group of the muscle and hamstring group of the muscle is supplied by the sciatic nerve and um, and it is branches such as the tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve so it is not also the true then eversion of the foot eversion of the foot it occurs in the foot and femoral nerve it usually don't reach up to the foot so our answer will be the extensor of the knee joint will be lost it is the answer of this question thank you all